Now, today is the big day and I'm very excited for you guys to be performing on this stage. I know you're going to do a fantastic job. But before we get started, I thought I'd invite a friend of mine who knows a little something about performing. So please welcome her to the stage. Hi! <laughs> Hi guys! Hi beautiful! Hi gorgeous! Hi, how's it going? Good. How are you feeling? Good. Has Ruby been looking after They're you? They're a bit shocked now, I think. <laughs> no! Don't be in shock. Hi beautiful! You okay? Yeah. I'm not that awful. <laughs> Have you all realised that you've got some sort of ritual before you start the shows and you've got little sort of... You know, kind What's of... your ritual? Don't you have a thing with candles or incense or yeah, something? Yeah, well, well, my room pretty much looks like, you know, I mean, I, I worry about the, the theatres and, and the arenas because I think I don't want to burn them down or, yes. you because know, there's lots of candles and I try to make it a really peaceful environment. It has to be really super, super quiet. I can't, just before I go on, I can't have anybody in the room. I need to be able to just get ready, focus, you know, talk to yourself. It's exactly the same as a sportsman. Like, yeah. I think, I think music and, and the same with performing is exactly the same as a sportsman. You have to, you have to train, you have to get ready, you have to focus, you have to visualise it going really well, you have to imagine yourself up there on stage and, and imagine this whole room filled and talk to the stage, talk to the universe. Before you guys all go back there, give yourself like a second, I do it every time, give yourself a second to stand here, look at here, like so be thankful, go okay, I'm going to put on the best show I possibly can. Remember to just like completely connect to heart and soul and spirit and everything that you embody when you want to sing these words and when you want to say these words and when you want to dance and be funky dancers and do your thing. Make sure it's like completely connected because if you're completely connected and honest, then they just, they can't look away. They can't look anywhere else but you on stage. What about stage fright? How did you overcome stage fright? I used to be so nervous when I started. Oh my God, I, it took me so honestly. I think I did the worst performances of my life when I started. And always as a kid, I'd always been like, you know, done really great. Performing was my was my it in a bit. And then I think when you when the pressure kicks in, like today, you've got the expectations, you've got the pressure, you start to feel completely different. You think, but I can do this so much better. What am I doing it like this? Because it's a whole psychological thing you have to get over and then go, hang on a minute, I believe in myself, I know what I'm capable of, I know I can do a really good job of this. And then when you get over that and when your inner voice is louder than every other voice, then, you, then you're sweet, <laughs> yeah, so great. to speak. Any other last words of wisdom and a big good luck from you? I want to know if you guys have any questions or anything. Like I re I'm like, I have so much I want to share with you, it's beyond. Like, so much like happens. It's encyclopedia of music I'm like, there's so performing. much to talk about, I can't even begin to tell you. Because I know, I've been at the beginning, I've been at the auditions, I did all that, like, years and years ago. I'm 25 still, I'm still learning, trust me. Yes? Uh, <laughs> and what is your name? Mehmet. Pardon? Mehmet. Mehmet. That's a cool name. <laughs> Why did you choose music? Um, I think music really chose me. I don't think it, uh, I think I was really born just, I was born singing, I was born writing lyrics. I, I think last night I woke up in the middle of the night, and I'm not normally somebody who does that, but I woke up last night and I had to write down all my uh, thoughts and all the, all the kind of lyrics and things, because at the moment I've got to write my new album, so that's what I've got to go and focus on. And in that time I have to go in and have to be a hermit and sort of go back into my thoughts and have a look at what's happened the last couple of years like I do every chapter and, you know, reflect. But music just, I don't know, I think it's a, it's a, some sort of magical connection that is completely not something you can even, I didn't choose it. It just sort of, singing was, you know, singing. I, nat I sang from the time I could speak and, uh, and performed and it just kind of naturally happened that way. Singers? Alicia's yes. a singer. Alicia's had some problems with her, her singing, actually, with her throat, haven't you? I think that sometimes, like, life gives you these trials that you have to purposely sort of go, OK, well, it's worth so much more when you need to be able to get your voice moving and, you know, it gives you an extra sort of trial, but at the end of the day, it's worth everything, you know? So I guess you have to open your... your uh, lots of... Uh, what's the word? Resonance, making sure that you... That's not fun, though, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, like, have you had it's nodules? Have you had problems with your... Yeah, I think not just as I think there's a common misconception also with, with, with singing is that actually I had an experience I remember when we met that yeah. with your vocal cords is that there's an educate that there needs to be a bit of education that your vocal cords are very small and they, they need to come together. I don't know if you guys have you guys ever seen down your throats? I've seen down my throats. Have you you must have seen down your throat. It's quite fun, they you know, put it up your nose and then go down in the back of your throat and you look at it on camera. 
I quite enjoy nice. it. It's okay. <laughs> no, but then you can see your vocal cords, they have to come together and, and I think it's not like you're unwell but your your voice is not there. It's exactly the same as a muscle. It has to be trained, it has to be looked after, it has to it has to do weights to keep healthy. You know, you yeah. have to be able to do your scales, you have to be able to and it seems so boring, but it's actually I realised not long ago you have to go back to the basics and sometimes when you're trying to jump ahead and just go, Yeah you know, just kinda of off and sing, you realise you've got to go, no and do all your, you know, vocal warm ups and make sure that you just do exactly the same as, as an athlete, train and train and train, you know.